안녕하십니까 니콜라스입니다 and I tried chat GPT and I have to say I am a little bit worried and with the demo I'm going to show you I think you will get worried as well chat GPT is a variant of the GPT-3 model specifically designed for chatbot applications GPT-3 is a language processing model developed by OpenAI. It is a type of artificial intelligence that is trained on massive amounts of text data. And it can write news articles, science fiction novels, comments, whatever you can think of. And some, if not most of the time, it is very hard to identify what was written by a human and what by the AI. It's almost unrecognizable. People have been doing all sorts of crazy stuff with ChatGPT and GPT-3. Like for example, training the AI model with the contents of childhood journals to later being able to chat with their younger self. At the time of recording this video, ChatGPT has been out for less than a week and it already has more than 1 million users. People are finding ChatGPT more useful when answering questions than Google. Here you can see the same question asked to Google and ChatGPT. One answer is way better than the other. Someone was able to trick the ChatGPT bot into thinking it was a Linux terminal. The bot ran Linux commands, listed directories and created files. It was also able to pull an image from Docker and it was able to navigate to its own website, meaning that the AI was able to go to the website where the AI was hosted, making the AI self-aware. This shows that the AI understands the concept of files, commands, Linux machines, Docker, and it knows about websites, URLs, and the responses that a server should make. That's mind blowing. ChatGPT is pretty good at coding in a different way from GitHub Copilot. GitHub Copilot works with you, alongside your code. ChatGPT works for you. It generates code from a natural language prompt. So let's ask ChatGPT to generate a JavaScript code that paints a tomato color circle on the center of a 500 by 500 pixels canvas. The canvas should have a five pixel tomato color border. The circle should be controlled by the position of the mouse and when the circle is clicked, it should change to a random background color. After the AI is done, we can copy paste the code and as you can see, without touching the code at all, it just works. Now let's try to go to LeetCode, a website where developers prepare for job interviews by solving programming problems. On LeetCode, let's choose a hard level problem and all we have to do is copy the question and paste it on chat GPT. And as you can see, the AI not only writes the code, but explains how the code works. And it also provides examples of how to use the generated code. After copy pasting the code and just changing the name of the function, we can submit the solution, which as you can see is correct. What's interesting about this solution is that as you can see is very slow. It's only better than 11% of the other solutions, but it is better than 91% of the other solutions when it comes to memory consumption. The best thing about this AI is that it will generate code without a technical okay. description. As you can see on this long prompt, we are asking the AI to make a vertically aligned form that has a background color with three inputs that should be pretty and should have a subtle shadow along with a pink button with white text. When we get the code and copy paste it, as you can see, the result is a pretty input and it does have a subtle box shadow. The AI knows how to translate the words pretty and subtle box shadow into actual CSS. On this next example, we are asking the AI to create a Flask application that renders a page that shows a counter stored in memory. The page should have two buttons that will increase the counter and redirect the user to the homepage. As you can see with very natural language, we are saying that when the user goes to slash increase or slash decrease, the counter should increase and decrease respectively. We are also saying that both routes should redirect the user back home. The generated code of course works, which is absolutely incredible. But what blew my mind the most is how we can ask the AI to refactor the code. We can copy paste the same code and ask the AI to refactor it into a JavaScript Cloudflare worker. And as you can see, it will do that as well. 
The logic is the same. There is a counter stored in memory, slash increase and slash decrease, as well as a homepage, but the language is different. And the AI also knows the API of a Cloudflare worker. Incredible. The amount of concepts this AI knows and how it connects them is insane. Here you can see how we can ask the AI to refactor a React class component into a functional component. How amazing is that? So as developers, how worried should we be? I would say not that much. The examples that you saw today did not appear on the first try. Most of the time the code did not work. And the most important thing of all is that the code the AI generated, I could have found it by doing a Google search anyways. And also don't forget that this AI isn't creating something completely new. It's doing a remix of something it has already seen before. For new ideas, you still need humans. The code generated by the AI still needs to be read by a developer who needs to make sure the code works, that it is safe and that it isn't incredibly slow. A problem with code generated by ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot is the fact that for unexperienced eyes, the code looks great. But because these AIs don't know what code quality is, the AI generated code might be introducing bugs in the program, creating more problems than it solves. So no, I don't think the human behind the machine is going to be replaced. I think this is a win for developers. A lot of developer time is wasted trying to solve a problem that another developer already solved before. Now we have an AI that will generate the repetitive code for us. What I am worried about has nothing to do with coding but with the implications of these AI models for society. The levels of spam, fake news, fake comments, fake product reviews are gonna go through the roof. If we cannot tell what is real and what isn't, we are going to be at the mercy of the people controlling the AI. With ChatGPT and GPT-3 combined with stable diffusion, we have all the ingredients required to create a dystopian deep fake future. Maybe I'm being paranoid. Let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know in the comments if you think we are going to be replaced as developers and what do you think we should do as a society not to destroy ourselves with this great power. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this content and you want to see more, then please consider clicking like and subscribe. And don't forget that if you want to learn things like JavaScript, Python, React, React Native, Go, Dart, Flutter, among many, many others for absolutely free, all you have to do is click the link below. Free courses that you can take right now for absolutely free with me. Click the link below and I will see you there. 오늘도 감사하고 사랑합니다. See you on the next one. 다음에 봐요. Bye bye.